the VIP lounge at the Charles Killian Theatre Noir Repertory House. Who would have known we'd be standing here about to rub shoulders with the city's elite theatrical community? <clears throat> oh, Jack. I can't help it. It's that damn knockworks. The stuff just won't stay down. I told you to have the stir fry. Too much oil. It goes right through me. Do you have the time? Uh, 7.40. Oh, we're a little bit early. There doesn't seem to be too much happening just yet. Silla, please, I'm in no mood to deal with your insecurities right now. It's a simple question, Richard, and I think it deserves an answer. Now, why don't you want me here? I didn't say I don't want you here. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. I said if you must come, don't expect to be fussed over. This is going to be a very busy night for me, and I can't afford to have my attentions divided. Oh, and who else were you planning on giving your attentions to? Silla, please. Is that why you didn't want me here? Is there somebody else you'd rather have by your side? No. Someone a little younger, perhaps? A little prettier? Silla, will you stop with all these ridiculous accusations? They're not ridiculous. Happy anniversary, sweetheart, and here's to 25 more. Cheers. You look nice tonight. Oh, thank you. You look like the man I married in Springwater all those years ago. I am the man you married in Springwater all those years ago. And you have hardly aged at all. Lost a little bit of hair, gained some weight here and there, <laughs> add a wrinkle or two, and well, you lost your behind. But you're still the same man that winked at me as I walked down the aisle to be nuptialized. One time I walked into an audition and my fly was open. And even that didn't work. No, of course, I don't suppose you have any trouble getting parts now, do you? Well... Uh, How long have you been in business now? 21 years. 21 years. Wow. Amazing, huh? I was still in the cradle when you first started. Theater. It's magical. It's noble. It's the entertainment of kings and queens. And to be here on opening night? Oh, we should feel privileged. Uh -huh. Well, we should. I mean, it's a very special night in the theater. I mean, all the work that goes into the shows and the people involved, all coming together as one as the curtain rises and the stage expands explodes into a sea of light? Gives me chills just thinking about it. For God's sake, Ruth, you've been to one play your whole life. Uh, that time you and Yvonne went to see uh, whatever it was at that dinner theater. Oh, Hamlet! Hamlet, yeah, right. Well, what would you know about it? You've never seen one. Imagine a person 45 years old who's never been to the theater. Just hoping to keep that record intact. Libby, you're late. Oh, Richard, this is exciting. My very first opening night. I feel like I'm absolutely, positively going to bust wide open. Oh, I have you to thank for this, Richard. Libby, please. Oh, I think back to my audition, the way I stumbled and stammered through it, and you still hired me. Why? Two reasons, love. Now, please, get them backstage and into their costume. <laughs> What the hell is that? A power failure? That means the show's gonna start. We better go in. Can I take my beer? No, you can't take your beer. <laughs> Why not? They let you drink beer at the ball games. That's because you're watching a bunch of grown men spitting on their shoes and rubbing their private parts. This is a respectable place. So put that down and let's go. You go ahead. I'm gonna hit the John first. Thank you.